are listening to I Am Refocused Radio with your host, Shamaya Reed. This show is designed to inspire you to live your purpose and regain your focus. And now, here's your host, Shamaya Reed. Hey, welcome to I Am Refocused Radio. We are here once again. And today, we have another show lined up for y'all. We have a returning guest from Human Coalition Action. We have Reverend uh, Dean Nelson. He's the executive director. He is... They're doing great things at hucoaction.org. You can visit that website, and there's another website, humancoalition.org, as well. Today, we're going to focus on the topic on the recent news brief that was uh, entered on July 17th last month. It was by uh, John Kirby, the National Security uh, Council Coordinator for Strategic Communications. We are going to talk about the whole defending abortion funding for service members and the family. So I just kind of want uh, Dean to kind of give us his reaction from those comments from the uh, briefing and what is his response to it? Hey, man, thanks so much for allowing me to be on the program again. Uh, Yeah, man, in reference to those comments from Mr. Kirby, number one, I think it was um, just out of touch and should be infuriating uh, to women to try to suggest that killing your children is somehow good for military readiness. Uh, this policy uh, runs against the federal policy, which you may be familiar with, uh, the Hyde Amendment, which prevents any federal funding prim- primarily um, through HHS Um But it prevents federal funding to go to abortion. And in this case, uh, they're basically paying for women to travel out of state to get an abortion, as well as providing them 21 days worth of leave uh, after they get an abortion. And so uh, this policy really flies, uh, runs against uh, the you know, already stated um, Hyde Amendment and uh, should be um, disregarded. And certainly people like us, uh, Senator Tuberville has made uh, a lot of uh, a lot of comments uh, and raised a lot of eyebrows because he has stood uh, against it and has actually held up a number of nominations uh, from the Biden administration because of the uh, Defense Department pushing uh, this grotesque and um, misguided policy. And according to Kirby's uh, additional comments, he also noted that anyone who signs up to serve in the military has the right to expect care, regardless of their identity, their beliefs, or the background. With your leadership with Human Coalition, is it correct to state that you all provide services to help care for those who may need them, especially expecting mothers? You know, man, I'm glad that you brought it up because uniquely at Human Coalition, we provide uh, the type of services that empower women. Uh, and we have done that uh, with women in the military. Um, I recently wrote a uh, an op-ed that highlights a, a young woman uh, by the name of Cherry who uh, was seeking an abortion. But when she connected with uh, Human Coalition and some of our leadership, she was able to get the services that she actually needed uh, to help her to carry her child to term. And so in this case, it wasn't that what she really needed was an abortion. It really was that she needed support. And, uh, you know, we have uh, 76% of the women that we engage with uh, who are seeking abortions at Human Coalition will tell you that they would choose to parent if their circumstances were different. And so we have experience in serving women in the military uh, who face these difficult decisions, but the answer is never to encourage them to kill their children. The answer is to encourage and to provide the support that they need to be a military mom. And Mr. Kirby also uh, stated that he encountered a all female group of service members and, and spouses who express concerns about abortion restrictions impacting their willingness to continue serving in uniform or influencing their spouse's decision to serve. With that note, how could an organization like Human Coalition step in to help those families who might have those concerns? Because I think there are some solutions versus was being presented in this brief. Yeah, I think that's part of what we try hard to do. And thank you for allowing uh, us to get our message out. Uh, Too often, the mainstream media, 
uh, the Biden administration are basically only pushing one solution to kind of convince women that their only solution uh, when they have an unintended pregnancy is to get an abortion. But we know differently. And we have engaged with hundreds of thousands of women uh, through you know human coalitions existence and have helped to provide them with these resources. So the more that we can get the word out that there are options for women, I think that the more women would be uh, more uh, more uh, into uh, noting those options, particularly those who are serving in our military, uh, as with the case with uh, the young woman, Cherry, that we served, uh, more women need to know the full options that they have uh, while they're serving in the military. Once again, the Army Focus Radio talking to Reverend D. Nelson, executive director, and doing amazing things at Human Coalition. Go to hecoaction.org or you can visit the other website, humancoalition.org. Last question for you. Since this is a heavy uh, topic, um, including our military service, uh, men and women, but specifically women. What do you think can we put in place moving forward to continue the dialogue to help provide solutions for women who serve in the military who may need services and not use the alternative of getting an abortion? Yeah, you know, number one, uh, we would say that they need to disregard, you know, this policy first and foremost. But when they do say, hey, listen, we're not going to pay, it doesn't mean that those women still can't get an abortion. It just simply means that the federal government, according to the Hyde Amendment, shouldn't be funding that in any way. But I think along with that is, is that if people, um, if the military, the Department of Defense can partner with organizations, organizations like Human Coalition to let women in the military know about their options, that would be a great move. And that would be a policy position that the Biden administration would not embrace. But if we do have uh, elected officials who are pro-life, that would be a huge uh, lift, I think, to women who struggle in these different difficult situations to know that they do have support from organizations like ours that are willing to walk alongside them to help them, whether they need, you know, housing, whether they need funding or just an encouragement uh, along the way. This is what women tell us that they really need. And we would be happy to partner with any uh, military installation, uh, the Department of Defense, to help them to promote these uh, life saving solutions to women in need. And for the listener to learn more information about Human Co- Coalition, you can go to the Human Coalition Action website. It's humancoalaction.org, or you can visit humancoalition.org. We've been talking to our guest, Reverend Dean Nelson. I want to say once again, thank you for your time. Brother, thank you. God bless you. Have a good one.